Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, I have been really busy around here. I've been doing a lot of uh, resource gathering. Uh, one of them just happens to be two full chests full of coal, more or less. Uh, I've been using this for fuel just to keep things running because those trees haven't been holding up too well, and I really don't want to be hunting them down. Uh, this is going to be our future fuel source in due time. Uh, but I have been busy. I've been keeping this steel uh, running the best I can. We've got a lot of creosote going through our coke, coke, uh, well, coke piece. It's actually, from what I know, it's called coal coke. But we've got a whole bunch of that going. I've got the iron being processed. Not too bad. Uh, uh, copper's going through pretty good. The smelter could be going a little bit faster, but uh, we don't, really don't have any other option except for the arc furnace when, once we get up to it. Uh, we don't really have any copper variation of something being able to smelt the ores, so we have to actually wait till we get to the arc furnace, which is up here. And that's in steel. Fortunately, I have a lot of steel on me. But what I do need to do, though, is I need to get another hammer set up so we can at least get that being processed. Now, this one is being done. That actually doesn't get hammered, but we're going to start getting this going in. Uh, the reason being is I want to start making some more of these, uh, where are they here? The item buffer chests. Uh, these ones. Now, I ended up putting like a whole bunch of logs lined up in this machine to get processed. Uh, I have not filled this thing up once. I've gone through about two and a half of these. That's full. Uh, we could probably start making bigger chests, but for now this is fine. We can get a, a copper chest, which I think adds a, another row, but it's just input. Uh, another one I actually wanted to do too, and I want to sort of get this going, is these shelves. These uh, shelf, these item racks, what they're called. They do have different variations of it. There's a copper one, I do believe. No, there is not a copper one, but there's a steel one, and there's actually a wooden one too. I don't know how much the wooden one actually holds. So, yeah, it doesn't say. But I just want to make a couple of these. Just because they're they're nice and the way they look. Uh, we'll get that set up in a second here. Uh, that is the wrong hammer. This is the hammer I want. Yeah, I got so much iron to process. It's just unbelievable. It'd be nice if you could actually, you know, have a big chest of feeds in. But that's what these things are that we're going to start making. So I'm just going to actually move this stuff in here and try to keep it all semi-organized. I'll grab the next plate and... Uh, yeah, let's get the ingots out of my inventory so I know how many I'm actually making. Because, uh, just because of the fact that it tells me I can make 40 of them doesn't mean I have enough I'm going to make 40 of them, but I can make three. So I'm going to do that, and then what this is going to do is give us a bigger buffer, and it's just going to be for feeding the machines, for instance. So then we can get that, and now if we open it, I'll put, place one on the ground here, and if you open it, you can see there's two slots, and that's going to be basically our buffer for as we go along. The next tier up is going to be aluminum, but that's going to be uh, what does what's involved in making aluminum. Good question. Uh... So to make aluminum, we need aluminum carbide dust, or aluminum dust in an arc furnace. Aluminum dust, we just take the ores and we grind it down, which I do believe, yeah. Uh, we take... That is a good question. Aluminum dust. Because there is an uh, aluminum ore. Uh, hang on, down here. I'm sorry, I gotta check something here. I got some aluminum over here. But for some reason, see, aluminum ore. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go through that and it goes through an ore washer. I found out too there's actually another process where we can get 50% more iron uh, ores out of what we get. Uh, we'll use the aluminum ore gravel for instance. I can take this stuff and I can run through the macerator. The macerator gets us the impure dust which could be of course smelted. Uh, 
doesn't show in here because this is do with the cop actually. Let's go over to uh Oh yeah, that's for this. This is gonna be backed up anyways. So this was just smelting right down into the ingots. We can actually take this, run it through the macerator, gets copper and pure dust. And that can run be be run through the furnace at a faster time and still get the ingot. So what I might do is I'm actually gonna, might put a macerator here and have that go into a furnace here. Just to get a little bit more. Not like we don't have enough. But I do want to start getting everything upgraded. But today it's time to move into steel. Uh, let me just check something here. I just had one of those am I recording moments. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start getting the output on the blast furnace going. Uh, time to make a whole bunch of conveyors. Let's see what we needed for those. Uh, just plates. Just plates. That's fine because I got plates right here. Uh, I'm going to make a whole bunch of them just because I can. I'm going to make a whole stack of them. And, uh, that's another thing we need to do, we need to start making some cutting machines. Because I want to be able to make rods at the same time. I do have a cutting machine somewhere, where is that? It's over here, I do believe. Uh, yes, cutting machine, the cutting machine needs kinetic energy. So we'll take that out, and then we'll make a couple of steam engines. I need some ingots for that. Go over here. Actually, that's what I said I was going to do. I was going to make these steel steel item racks. Uh, let's go over here, grab some some steel plates. Actually, you know what? I made these things. Let's actually use them. So again, we have the red face and the green. We can open that up and go in here, take these two stacks of steel. And I can place them in here. Now those will automatically feed into here, this will automatically hammer and put them bit into this box here. So then we always have steel plates. And that way I don't have to worry about me wasting the steel myself making them. Alright, so now, what else do we need? Planks. Where did I have wooden planks? Probably over here somewhere. Uh, not in there. That's not going to be in there. Nope. Nope. Anyway. It's a good thing I have a whole bunch of wood. Alright, uh. I do need the ingots. What do you know? Uh, steel. Oh, yeah, it's steel. That's right. Uh, I'll just take one of these out. Just because. Uh, that's gonna get me three. One, two, three. And, yeah, that should be good. So. Let's see. The iron's gonna be there. Let's get the conveyors. We should have those just about done here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have all the steel production going on this side here we're also gonna need a couple of cutting machines we're gonna go with the copper ones on that uh, so we need more copper ingots and uh, not a problem uh, this is where the mass production really comes in handy all right now we can make let's see I have one we'll make another one for now uh, I do want to start upgrading some of the machines too, so eventually we'll have to, once we get more steel going, we'll have to start uh, getting like steel ore washers and smelters and stuff like that just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, what we do have to do too, though, is, yeah, I'll make another mass, another macerator and maybe a couple more steam engines. So, one, two, two, I think I had one here somewhere, but that's fine. Another macerator. A uh, whole bunch of pipe. And I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay. There we are ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this furnace out. Uh, just because we don't actually need it at the moment. Uh, over the macerator so the furnace can come out. I don't know if I actually picked that up or not. And I'll place a block back down there. Uh, the macerator. Gonna get rid of that. I have, I have no idea. Yeah, uh, apparently you can pick up the sounds and the flies and the fireflies and all that stuff. So that is interesting. Anyway, uh, again, we need kinetic energy for this. Oh, it's on the other side. Hmm. So now I have to worry about a plumbing problem. We might have to come up with the pipe. Let's go on this side here. Let's get our, uh, get our steam engine on the bar. And. 
Like so. Now we can come in on the top, so that's actually really handy. And let's get that out. And pipes. One there. Like so. And we'll just come right out the top here. That's about all we can really do. And there we go. So that's going to be mass rating the, co the copper. As soon as this reaches one. Turns it into that. Uh, what I didn't have to do though is get rid of that. Just because we still got to put the furnace in here. Uh, so that's going to go directly into the furnace. And I think... Yeah, I think we're just going to put the furnace, put it directly into the furnace, we won't worry about the arm. Actually, I was thinking about doing the arm, let's do that, just because we can, just because we don't need power. Alright, uh, where's that furnace? Uh, you know what, let's make a stone for a steel furnace. You know what, actually we don't need it, we don't need it. Okay, put the furnace back, uh, it goes there. And we have a robot here, so we'll place a brick. Uh, do I have stairs? Yes, I do. Okay, now place, place that there. Take that out, and you know, same old, same old. I also gotta get a fuel delivery system set up for these machines, so things work a little bit better. So I'll take that out, and Put our smelter back on top. Add a couple of robotic arms. If I hit the right buttons, one there and one there. Now hopefully, <laughs> they'll all move in time. The conformity, I tell ya. Alright, so that's actually getting us slightly more. I think it's given us like another... I'm going to say 33%. I'm not 100% sure, but that's definitely helping. So now we got to get the steel out of here. Alright, now I don't think it really matters which output I take. So I might be able to do something like this. On there and there. No, that's input. How do I get the steel out of here? Never did figure that out. I wonder if it's underneath. Oh, let us find out. Right, we go down here and... Where is the output on this? Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a look at this. Up we go. Oh, too high. <laughs> Way too high. Yeah, where is the output on these things? One's an in, one's an out. Did they forget to put it on? Would it be in the front? Uh, let me have a look. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to have any outputs at all. So, it's kind of a shame, but I know we can get up to different higher variations of it. Like, uh, that's, a co that's a copper one, right? Yeah, it's a copper. But I do believe we can get up to a steel blast furnace. There's a steel coke oven. Uh... Maybe not. Once you get up to a higher enough tier, I guess you're just cooking it right in the machine. Anyway, uh, what I was going to do is actually get these shelves set up. So let's uh, empty all this out. I just want to show you, show you this shelf. It's actually quite interesting. I probably should have this feeding right into the, the oven there. Uh, you know what? Probably should do that. Because that's what the inputs, for, inputs are for. So if I... Nope, it's not locked out yet. Uh, do I have any coal cocoa on me? No, I do not. Alright, let's take some of that. We're going to lock that. So that's going to keep those inputs there no matter what. And we'll put that in there and we'll lock that one as well. So now when I feed the conveyors of the iron going in, it'll be fine. Uh, I don't think we really need the iron gets for anything else other than making steel. Uh... Uh, yeah, basically, iron blocks are nothing more than decoration. 
So we're going to do that then. That's what we'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and redo our conveyors. Take that out and go like that. Uh, gonna have to get a splitter going. Let's go that way and let's see. Conveyor splitter. So nice having so many resources. Okay, and that can go in there. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Right. Have the iron coming in the front and the coke, the coke coming in the back. So do that, and then I should have a splitter. And there it is. And let's see, make sure I got this going the right way. Once I had the right bar block. Okay. Now we go back to a conveyor, like so, and so. And that should I'm gonna start feeding iron into here. There we go. Eight, good. Now we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Give me that. And that should automatically feed into here. Now we're gonna get the cold coke out of here. And unfortunately, I have this in the way, so I might have to move it up. But that's gonna be our output. We'll lock the input. And I'll probably probably get the same thing going with the that I had with hang on. Oh yeah, those things are where I got. Uh, a couple of those buffer chests set up to automatically feed the coal in here. Okay, there's an output there. Uh, there's an output there. Let's actually remove this. And that. Now, a question I have. Because I have this container. This fluid container. Does it still have the creosote in there? We're going to find out in a second here. We'll do that, that. And... I'm probably going to do a splitter idea again. That's probably what I'll do, yeah. Uh, okay. So there. There. Oh no, because I can't merge them. Alright, that's fine. So let me get this hooked up. Actually, this is a perfect time to try it. Uh, utilize another block they have here. It's called a conveyor junction. Basically, it's a long conveyor span. And well, let me drag that down here, and this should actually reach the entire distance. So we put one there, and put one here. Open up the GUI. Uh, we want the triangle. So the triangle is going to be uh, input. And then this is going to be an output. Is that really too far? I think it is. Hmm. Yeah, it shows the uh, conveyor roots. Let me figure this out. Okay, I got it. The span was a little longer than it needed to be, but yeah, I put one in the middle here, so as you can see, I've got it going from this one into here, and I'm com completely configuring this. I can disable it, I can take it out, I can reverse it. We're going to do it that way, and then on this side here, that's going to be the output. And that's going to carry on to this one, which carries in from the green, and then goes out the red. So this will actually save on conveyors and make things a little bit easier and cheaper. Now I do have to make one more of these, and you have to make two of them. They're actually relatively cheap. Just one conveyor, one plate, and one rod. So that is pretty good. So place one here, and... We will place the other one right there. Uh, in is going to be on the red. Pink is going to be the out. Uh, green is the in. Uh, red is going to be, oh, pink is going to be toggled off. Because we don't want to go on there. And then, of course, red comes out here and goes into... Oh, 
What is that pulling out? Is it actually pulling out the coal? I think it is. Oops. I'm just really doing that. And that's where filtering ro robots come in. Uh, give me one second here. I figured it out. With iron will only go on one side, the coal coke will only go on the other. So that's that's no big deal. That just means I gotta rework these a little bit. So let me fix that up. Okay, that should do it. I just have this one feeding right into here. So that's producing coal coke. That should go automatically into here. Uh, this will be getting not its own iron. Uh, this one's coming from the other one down there. Same thing, iron's coming in on this side. So we are good, and I, I was thinking about it too. Yes, it is possible to actually merge these things together just by placing another one. Uh, as soon as I get on the hot bar here, I'll take that out and do that. And I can do like that, and then let's say like that. So then realistically, I could have the yellow come out on this side here, and then have the pink going out to that one and then merging back in. But, uh,. We'll work on, worry about that later. I might have to re redo the conveyor network eventually. And we can go up. Oh, yeah. That's right. We can go vertical. We'll have to get some of that. I was thinking about trying to go a higher floor, but this should be good. So now I just have to get the, the tank set up, and I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, there we go. I put the tank back in. It does retain its content, so that is good. Uh, I was thinking about setting up an auto feeder for the coal, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the time being, anyways, until we can start getting uh, more drastic need for it. But what we're going to do, uh, since we have ready to go, we're going to take these out of here. Uh, take that chest off. And then we're going to go ahead and put one of these shelves down. I like these shelves. So then what happens is it puts it in, you see the, the boxes of actually what's in there. I thought that was really cool. Uh... Actually, we probably will have to move that because I this is going to be going through a cutting machine too. Uh, in fact, let me check how long we've been, I've been recording this. Yeah, we still got some time. As well, keep an eye on things here, make sure everything's okay. Like, uh, always been forgetting about these furnaces; they've been running out of fuel. Uh, you could use a little bit more coal. Uh, I guess I should get more coal. In fact, what I gotta do is find a place to stick all this iron now. Uh, the problem with moving stuff around is you got no buffers to put anything. Actually what I can do, speaking of buffer, uh, it's a great way to feed stuff back into the system. I can put one of these here and it'll actually just put it right on the conveyor. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, there's a pipe there. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, okay, I'll rotate like that. Go ahead, stick a couple of stacks of iron in there, and then I'll, that'll automatically feed in there, in fact. I'll do another one on top. Just to free up my inventory. Make sure that is all iron going in. Yes, okay. The iron and the steel look very similar. Okay, so that's just going to do its thing there. I could probably do the same thing with that, in fact. Probably should make a whole bunch of those things. Now that I think about it, but... I was making steel plates over here, was I not? I was. They are going through. We'll take that out and we'll give you some more steel to work on. And I'll take these because now we're going to have to start making some stuff. Uh, what was that for? Oh, yeah, there's that. So now we got to start getting uh, these mass uh, cutting machines down. Now we're going to need the cutting machines. We're going to need a couple more conveyor splitters. We'll do two of those. And this is the pl copper plates. So what we're gonna, I need to let's see. I'm gonna need a couple more steam engines too while I'm at it. Uh, we will be getting into power pretty quick here. So let us splitter and regular conveyor, regular conveyor. Then we'll do a splitter like so, and then one there and one there. I'm going to have to build out this platform a little bit, a little bit more, I think. Uh, in fact, let me do that and I'll bring you back. 
Okay, got a nice little area set up. I also uh, set up an auto feeder for the coke ovens too, so at least we're gonna have uh, endless steel production. I just gotta make sure to go through and clean it out myself. So that is good. So that these are fully filled. This has lots of storage, so that's gonna be really good. Uh, these are deployer lines you can make, but they're bugged. You can't take them out, and same with those ones. Uh, well, we're going to end up getting to that next episode, but let's go ahead and start getting our cutting machines down. Uh, I do have one splitter there. This is, uh, that's going to be a steel, so, you know, that's going to be split as well. So I'm going to, I do have another conveyor splitter. Let's take this out. Hopefully I have enough space for it. I do. All right. And I have another conveyor splitter. Uh, not gonna worry too much about the robots. Like we're gonna always be doing upgrades later. In fact, you have an up. Oh yeah, you do have a robot. Okay, that's fine. All right, we do that. We do another splitter, and then uh, I think I'm trying to think. Oh, I want to do this. Yeah, we'll actually do it this way. Uh, actually, that, that's a much better idea. Uh, we're going to put a conveyor coming off of here, and then we're going to go into the, into a cutting machine. And the cutting machine will turn the plate into rods, and it's going to do it for half the price. Okay. Input is there. Oh, that actually works out perfect. So you can put the steam engine right off of that. Alright, so we will get that wooden chest out of the way. Uh, get my steam engine. And make sure I got going the right way. Good. And I can come across with pipes. And I need pipes. Go figure. In fact, I want to make a whole stack of them because I want to need them. I need a lot of pipes. Now we're going to get the same thing set up here. I have the... I'm going to have the cutting machine here. And... Let's see. Inputs on that side. Like so. You know, steam engine. Like there. And show me some pipes. We're not there yet. Alright, so that is going. Uh, let's see how this is all doing. Uh, it's quiet, so something tells me we're held up here. And we're just held up by the coke ovens, plus the buffer chests that are still feeding all the other iron I had going through. Which is good. Let's see how the copper's doing. Again, it's quiet over here. Oh. Yes, a uh, fuel issue. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I want to get this fuel situation figured out. That is going to be the, the savior to our problems. And that's because we're going to actually start getting into some proper automation here. And what it's going to be is... Uh, if we go into here, we do have... Uh, multi-tool robots which actually it's basically a laser beam that harvests things but we need power for it we will be getting into power and it's been a while since we've checked our quests i think we've claimed that already but while we're waiting we might as well do this so we need a steel arm robot we'll go ahead and not make that why not because i don't actually have steel ingots on me all right steel ingots oh yeah Waiting over here. That's our bottleneck. So we've got steel there. Lots of steel there. We've got 24 coal coke in there already. This only has one. Why? Travel distance. That's why. And take half of you and put you in there. Just to get you rolling a little bit more. Where did I go? There it is. Okay, what was I doing here? I was waiting for pipe. We got pipe. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go there and that yeah, should be good here. So I'll place that on top if I can, like so. And we are going to have to upgrade our boilers. Because this is going to start using a lot of steam. And probably steam we can't afford right now. So there, 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 and there. Oh. 
yeah, you need plates, don't you? I'll give you half a stack of plates. For now, and then I'll feed into there, and then into there, and then what I was going to do... I might actually do this right now. I'll make two more of these. Was it two or one? One. Now, of course, the different tiers of these have different amounts they can hold. And just because we're going to put that one there, and two there. And that model conveyors. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I quick five there. So basically what happens, is the plates get separated, one's going to go into a shelf, one's going to go into a cutting machine, which turns it into rods. And then you can open this up and you can see it. I'll actually hold 2,000, so uh, quite a few. And this is, like I said, just an early tier. And give me some conveyors. There, there, there. And go over here, do the same thing. There, there. And I need one more. Make that. And we'll place the shelves down. Like so. And. There. Now, where's our conveyor? There we go. So now we're getting proper automation. We got plates being made, we've got rods being made of both steel and copper. So that's good. Uh, we are going to have to take care of the power situation pretty quick. Uh, I'm also going to look into the blast furnace here. I see a boat like auto outputting these. I don't know if that's actually possible. Uh, let's see if there's other ways to actually make steel. Make it in the uh, arc furnace with cast iron or steel dust. Now I was looking at this cast iron and we could use the alloy smelter which can make that steel but that's going to require oh it does require heat. Iron dust and coke dust. So we'd basically have to pulverize the, the coke the coke dust, yeah, coke, uh, coke pieces, I'll say, to, to coke dust. And then pulverize the iron into iron dust, which run through an alloy smelter with heat. We'll get us a cast iron ingot, and then cast iron ingot has to go through the arc furnace to become steel, which takes 30 seconds, but that requires four power, and that's not the easiest to generate because we're generating off of kinetic energy to begin with. But, yeah. But there we go. We have semi automation the, the copper side is completely automated. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I might want to look at trying to see what our bottleneck here is. Just happens to be the, the smelter. But we can't do much about that until we actually get into the arc furnace. But I think this would be a good place to call it. We got some progress done. We got everything more or less all set up. This... The coke, the coke ovens are automated in and out. The blast furnace are automated in. I haven't figured out how to get the root supplies out, but there we go. Why is this one faster? It seems like it's faster. Or like I said, just the travel time from the coke oven to there. 43 seconds, 45 seconds. I have no idea. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.